This is Twit. Tech Break is brought to you by our friends at IT Pro TV, now called ACI Learning. ACI Learning's 80% completion rate is 50% higher than the training industry average. Invest in your team with the best training they're sure to love. Twit listeners can receive up to 65% off an IT Pro Enterprise Solution Plan. Based on your team's size, you'll receive a properly quoted discount tailored to your needs. I don't normally talk about the laptops I review. Yeah. But I did want to briefly discuss the HP Spectre folding PC hmm. um, because it speaks to a number of things uh, that but are it's happening. It's on my right list, now. right? Like, yeah, it's me. so I, I I think you would find it uncompelling uh, from a performance perspective. I, I will just say that it's a it is a nine watt U series pro processor. Okay, so they okay. were trying to hit a very specific power management, you know, uh, I brand. Over. Yeah, I know, right. So that, there's that <laughs> a little problem, right? Yeah. These displays are expensive. Um, yeah. But I do think we've kind of um, reached a point in the phone business where this is clearly, you know, a very compelling uh, product for a lot of people. It's going to get more and more popular over time the as the prices come big down. difference between a five inch folder and a 17 inch folder. Yeah. Well, here's what's cool about it. So in laptop form, it's like a 12.5 inch laptop. So it's like barely acceptable. It is a full size keyboard. On De reasonably just. sized screen, et cetera, yeah. et cetera. It works. You're in a cramped little airline thing and you can you get work done. It's good. When this thing unfolds, it's hard not to exclaim out loud. It It is, it, it's like a circus tent, you know? <laughs> and even though it's only 17 inches compared to say 16 for a big laptop, it yep. seems bigger still somehow. Right. I, there's something about it. Um, And it's, it just kind of, it's a gorgeous screen. Um, the keyboard, you know, you separate the keyboard. You can connect it if you want with a wire, but it's Bluetooth. It works, it keeps working. It has a built-in right. touchpad. That stuff all works great. It really, really, that, that, in that situation, it's neat. It is, uh, you know, I know a lot of people say, yeah, I can dock any laptop and I can have an external display and all that stuff. And you can, but this is like having a smallish desktop computer with you wherever you go, because the thing right. opens up, you're like, boop, it's like, you know, it's but with the you, only, it's neat. I mean, the thing that matters is that seam. With that fold point, how yep. does it look when it's unfolded? Yeah. So this is, uh, and they describe it this way, um, is this, when you're straight on, you can't see it. There's okay. no, there's no. You've got to look for it, then you got to wiggle it. You can around. see the reflection of it if you get over to the sides. Uh, but if you're looking right at it, it disappears. And mm. I mean that in every set, like it, it's gone. The thing that's amazing, well, here's the two big points. And this is why I wanted to discuss this. These are the two big points. Um, everyone's looking for the next form factor. You know, what are we going to have? Um, uh, Lenovo earlier this year came up with a dual screen device, um, the Yoga Book 9.9, I think yep. it's called. Which is also very pretty. But it's impractical. And really, the two screen thing works best when the screens are on top of each other, which is yep. not really the way I think most people with dual screens use displays. Um it also did not nail the laptop form factor. In fact, that is in that form, in that mode or whatever you want to call it, that device was hugely inefficient. It was very bad. Um, it was too thick. You're too high up. It's uh, the keyboard it wasn't great. Didn't have a touchpad. So you could have a situation where you have a keyboard, but you're still touching the screen like an idiot. Yeah. And uh, it just didn't get it. And so eight, the first of the two points was HP got that right. Like that, the lap, they were like, we, and they said this, we know we, the keyboard thing had to be right. Mm -hmm. And it, as a laptop, it is a good laptop. It's it, they nailed the basics. I think that's important, right? That's how, we can't go to the future unless we, you know, cover the today or whatever. But if it, it's it's the screen thing, honestly, obviously, and obviously, right, that yeah. does it. And here's the thing: so we're at this reviewers workshop a month and a half ago. HP is going on and on and, on. and I mean, they're just droning on and on about the hinge. They're passing it around the room. We want everyone to see the hinge. You got to see the hinge. It's we did so much testing on this hinge. The hinge is incredible. The hinge is going to last as long as any hinge we've ever made for a normal laptop. So you never have to worry about that. And so none of us have ever says, thought about a hinge until you brought it up. Exactly. So <laughs> 10 minutes into this, someone finally raises their hand and says, yeah, okay, but what about the screen? And the guy was like, the screen? He says, yeah, like, what about, how long is the screen going to last? And he goes, oh, oh, that's going to last longer than the computer. You don't have to worry about the screen. <laughs> and it, it was, su it was such an afterthought. Wow. Right. That. I, I, and I think it speaks to the maturity of this technology. Um, well, that the question uh, is, is it true? Okay. Right. I know. I know. I, we're going to find out, you know, that, that's, that's going to be the thing. So I, when I say the future of the PC, I, I mean, literally the future. Uh, it's sure. not today. It's too expensive. A, and, you know, obviously. 
No, some of us um, are less price sensitive too. The question is, is it any good? Like, what are you getting for five thousand dollars? Yeah. So the argument here is that what you're getting is three devices in one, right? It's not a two in one. It's like a three in one. And the right. three devices are a laptop, a tablet, a really big tablet, by the way, mm. and a desktop. Uh, a desktop. Yep. And I would have a hard time spending that much money on those three devices. Would be one thing to say to that. <laughs> um, Another thing to say that would be, I don't buy those three devices at the same time. So I don't, you know, uh, another one would be, I don't actually use all three of those devices. I only right. need two, maybe, right? A laptop and a desktop, maybe, or whatever. Well, listen, then I don't know. That There's all kinds of things you could say. Tablet. That. Like, that's just yeah. too big. So but that, you know one, that one's kind of a laugh. Yeah. Very interesting. And uh, again, I, I to me, it really is just is the expense. And that's a temporary condition. Um and then we'll see what the reliability of the screen of this size. But yeah, the, the whole question here is, is it expensive because um, they, the tech is that expensive? Or is it expensive because they plan on replacing them when those seams get messed up? And just building into the price. Oh, yeah, you're going to have to swap that a couple of times. We have to sort of speculate. I, um, From what they say, it's the expense, you know. And I would it, remember when um, the Surface Studio first came out and it was yeah. essentially a laptop with a gigantic, beautiful display. Yes. And uh, it was so expensive. I don't remember the exact uh, three thousand, four thousand dollars. And, it, and it, but it also had that articulating screen like you could lay it yep. down. And oh, so sweet. Down. Yeah. But what everyone said to this was, OK, but what, we don't want the computer. We want the screen. I want yeah, to add that screen. Could, never sold it. Right. And, and what never they their response it. to that at the time was, you don't understand, the screen would be five hundred dollars less than the computer right, right. It, it's it's this the, the expense is the screen yeah I, and, and i do uh, understand and sell it to me anyway yeah, yeah. exactly yeah right. yeah um yeah and i don't did. think we're ever going to see that no, now unfortunately yeah. it so might be i think I mean, it is the screen yeah i mean i know when you do these big 5k screens you have to have separate apple had all this separate processing on their 5ks so yeah. it really yeah, is right. a computer I wish they'd let us attach a better computer to that screen because that's the it was that's the such point. a low and, power and, you know, computer. Uh, given uh, the repairability stuff with Surface, actually, we're going to talk about. Uh, I still no, have that, that studio. I still have. Um, it. Nobody wants it. I but but to, I mean, if they were to make that computer today, it would be more upgradable, more repairable. I mean, you know, yeah. the the thing at the time was mostly probably a closed box. I don't remember. I'd have to look it up. Like, what could you actually replace in one of these things yourself? It's probably next to nothing. Right. But it's all, it's also just interesting to think through the workflows of that sort of draft table angle. Yeah, right? exactly. Oh, I've so taken, cool. I played with my, taking my 43 inch 4K, which I adore, like my fate. And there's yeah. different classes of work where it's like, I need <laughs> four 1080p screens at the same time, please. And that's what that thing delivered. <laughs> like full scale 4K. But right. then put a 32 inch, 1080p touchscreen down in this sort of draft board position. Yeah, bring it, bring it up to you. Yeah. Yeah. And so you have a touchscreen that's closer to you up to a larger screen above, and then you have a mechanical keyboard in the tray underneath that. So when you really need to. Yeah. Touch, I, so I, I'm uh, compulsive in a way. I bet a lot of people watching or listening to this are as well. And so one of the things I don't like about touch displays is that you can touch them. And one of the things I wouldn't like about this display that you're describing is that I would want it to always go back to exactly where it was yeah. <laughs> and I would have a hard time getting it there. You know, um, mm -hmm. I sat down, my uh, nephew was here for three weeks when we were gone and I sat down in front of this computer and I was like, he monitor's different, yeah, <laughs> you know, it. and I just, you know, I don't know. I, I, I it'd be, it'd, it'd be neat if it was like a power uh, seat in a car where there were, you could, you know, press number one and it goes to that upright thing exactly the way it was. And you press number yeah. two and it goes, you know, that'd be all of repositioning. Yeah. I don't know. Well, we'll see what happens with Surface. I mean, I, I they've obviously scaled back. I don't know if we're going to see external displays. Remember, one of the unique things about Surface for a while is it was going to all be three by two screens, right? Which is unusual and cool and, and kind of a neat form factor or whatever. But for them to do an uh, an external display, it seemed like it should be three by two, but now they have a bunch of devices that aren't three by two. They're kind of going in a different direction. Maybe honestly, sixteen by ten is better for a traditional laptop. Whatever, whatever. Is there a need for this thing? I always thought they were going to do because Surface Studio. I'm sure it was three by. It was three by two. Right. What we wanted was that three by two, three thousand by two thousand pixel display. Right. That was right. the point of it. 
That's what we're after. Was yeah. the high? Give me yeah. as much resolution as I can lay my hands on. Mm-hmm. That's what I care about. And I don't, I don't know. I just don't see him doing it now. I wish, yeah. I wish they would. I've always, I always thought they should, but anyway. Yeah. So All right. I, between uh, AI, which will be kind of the plumbing <laughs> part of it, and then these kind of potential new form factors. I mean, there's an interesting history, or not history, future to be had uh, for the PC perhaps here, right? I mean, it's kind of cool. These yeah, are, this is a it, neat, neat PC, I think, yeah. Yeah, it is. It's just super expensive, but it's it's cool. It doesn't work with any, like, you know, that picture there is me trying to use it on my laptop stand, which would work until I started typing and it would slide right off of it because it's not, <laughs> you know, designed There's for that. There's a detached keyboard, though, somewhere, right? There is, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's, it's really yeah, interesting. that works great. Yeah. yeah. And it's a full-size keyboard and with a trackpad. It's nice. Right. Good review, uh, therat.com, if you want to read it. 